If you're hearing this, stranger, I'm dead. The Brotherhood is dead. But I'm relieved. Relieved there is someone, anyone, alive. I honestly don't care if you're Chinese, American, or whatever. You're a human being. Listen, I don't have much time, but the Scorched are more of a threat than you can ever imagine. You have to find a way past the security I installed. If you're former military, all you need is your government-issued military ID card. If not, find a way. I know, some ghost probably isn't very persuasive. But look past your own skin and consider there's so much at stake. We did. And that's why I'm going out to die. Ad Victorium. Scribe Grant signing out.
Overseer's Log, Allegheny. A mental asylum as a last stand against the scorched. Brave, crazy, and crazy brave, the Army way. At least I'm pretty sure the Brotherhood had former U.S. Army members, judging by the security systems. If only they had survived. What I wouldn't give to have a few of America's finest watching my back right now. As it is, I'll have to find out how they were planning to combat the Scorched on my own. Once I can figure out a way through these doors... Congratulations, Appalachia. Paladin Taggarty told me of your victory at Huntersville. I know it was costly, but future generations will thank you, as I am thanking you now. It makes me proud, but that's not why I'm calling. One of the Brotherhood's standing orders is being on the lookout for valuable technology, anything that would help us in our efforts. But as I look in every direction, I see chaos. The lights are out, and men have become little better than barbarians. Civilization 
Civilization is something I think of every day. <laughs> I know Lizzie is probably sick of the word by now. To rebuild that, to reclaim that, our successors are gonna need the secrets of the past. And those secrets are in danger of slipping through our fingers forever. So far, our scribes have been tools to help protect our knights and maintain our bases. That needs to change. The Brotherhood is gonna be more than an armed fighting force. We are going to be the guardians of civilization! So we have to grab every schematic, every holotape, every book, every goddamn note that holds the building blocks of the old world before it is too late. Our scribes will hold on to them, preserve them, perhaps even progress beyond them. And the knights will protect them like a hard shell around a precious seed. One day when the time is right, that seed will grow and a new civilization will be born. This, this is why we were born. Don't you see it? Helping your fellow man is a good goal, a soldier's goal, but this, we will be the catalyst that changes the world. I'm sure you have questions. Pallet integrity is fully briefed. I have every faith in you, Appalachia. Elder Maxon, out. Overseer's Log, Charleston Capital. If automation still rules West Virginia, then Charleston is the heart of the machine. Bureaucracy still pumping away without any people to serve. There's a lesson there somewhere. Dealing with these terminal systems like it's just a normal day in America is... somewhere between disturbingly comforting and completely insane. But there's a lot of secrets in this old capital that we'll need to find.
please wait for your number to be called. wait for your number to be called. Please wait for your number to be called. <laughs> Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please, Please exit the area your at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation.
Examination will begin in 15 seconds. Exam initiated. Activate initial checkpoint. Checkpoint activated. Return to start. Congratulations, applicant. Please access terminal to initiate final examination briefing.
breather. Applicant detected. Kit ticket issued. Please collect your gear. Uniform ticket is grounds for immediate dismissal. Examination briefing. Hollow tape issued. Equipment is not encouraged. Final exam, I'm Hank Madigan, fire breather lieutenant. Exam simple. Reach the bottom of the mine, hit the emergency beacon down there, and come back up. All you gotta do is survive a little slice of living hell and all the scorch that call it home. Now, I get this is extreme, but we need to know if you can hack it before you got half a dozen other people counting on you. But you're not going in empty handed, along with your suit been issued a modified 10 millimeter. We figured out the scorched aren't big fans at depleted ultrasite. Took a field trip to AMS HQ to figure out how to make the stuff, but it's the most effective tool we found for putting them down. So time to prove you can put it to good use. Suit up, strap in, and move out, recruit.
Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. for the final exam. Well, say which exam? Oh, right. For the fire breathers, final exam. We're supposed to head inside, find the emergency beacon, and watch out for Scorched. Piece of cake. I don't know. If it's so easy, why hasn't anyone else completed the exam? Because they weren't us. We've been hunting Scorched at the farms for days. How much harder could the ones in the mines be? Grow a little backbone. Come on, guys. Let's stick together on this. All right, all right, shut up. <laughs> okay, Scorch Slayers. It's time to lock and load. Let's get the job done. <sighs> okay, squad leader. Tim and Andrew are both dead. Now what the hell are we supposed to do? Shut up, Sai. She's recording. Entry two. We've lost Timothy Wolf and Andrew Rhodes to a swarm of scorched. And the rest of us barely made it past them alive. I'm beginning to think Melody Larkin may have underestimated the difficulty of this exam. Oh, you're damn right she did. This is suicide. What the hell with this? I'm going back. No, you're not. You're sticking with us. Why? So we can get picked off one by one until we're all dead? No way, not me! You know what, Sai? You've been acting like a coward ever since we started tackling the Scorch at the farms. And now, Tim and Andrew are dead because of you. What the hell are you talking about? I saw him, Max. When those Scorch pushed through the tunnels, they came at us from all sides. Tim and Andrew were holding, and they told Sai to watch the back, but he didn't. He ran away and left their rear flank wide open. That's what took them down. Bullshit! He's lying, Max! I'll 
knock it off. Sebastian, if you want to go, go, but you're going back alone, and I guarantee you didn't clear everything behind us. Even if you make it, mark my words, you'll never be part of this squad again. Fine. To hell with both of you. I'm out of here! You're seriously letting him go? Yeah, Rita. We're better off without him. some time ago. He heard his screams echoing through the mines only minutes after he left. <coughs> Rita and I are all that's left. Despite the odds, we've somehow made it to the beacon. Done. What's supposed to happen when we activate that beacon? I don't know. 
I suppose we'll get Melody Larkin's next instruction about how to get out of here. Well, there's no reason for us to stand here and wait. Push the damn thing. Oh my god. They're everywhere! I... I don't know if we're gonna make it. But we didn't come this far just to give up. I'm with you, Max. If we don't make it out of here, I just want you to know it's been a real honor, Rita. Likewise. Now let's go show those scores what it means to be a fire breather. All examinations complete. Congratulations. Issuing. Orientation hollowed tape. Please proceed to Charleston Fire Department for company registration. Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Need any help? 
Are you here to become a fire breather too? Wow! That's awesome! Whew. Uh, maybe we can study together. That knowledge exam sure is hard. Wow! Uh, you want to get to know me? <clears throat> My name is Tiffany, and I'm trying to become the greatest fire breather that Appalachia has ever seen. It is my sworn duty in life to try and stop the Scorched Invasion from taking over the world! Or at least Appalachia. Whatever you need to know, I'll try my best to answer. No worries, friend. Let me know if you need anything else. Seriously. Anything at all.
There are 800,000 outstanding support calls. There is one priority call. Accessing. Maria, Melody, whoever's down there, it's Madigan checking in. <laughs> At long last. I'm up here just outside the top of the world and I found something. Something I think could be game changing. Don't ask me where I got it. I just need you to send backup up here quick. The best guns you can spare. Call me back at this frequency as soon as you can. Madigan out. Fire breather in the station. Oh, you're taking the fight to those scorched. You know the drill, buy and sell. You need supplies. I am programmed to trade match made in heaven. You can gear up here. Fire freezers are the illy of the responders, taking out the scorched one at a time. Responders, set up this trading post for their fire breathers unit. Responders, set up this trading post for their fire breathers unit. You need supplies. I am programmed to trade match made in heaven. You can gear up here.
now in stock. Goods acquired through questionable means. Get your rating supplies here or don't. I don't care. control of this old ski resort, and if I ever find her, I'm gonna wash her mouth out with the first thing vaguely resembling soap I can get my hands on. Oh. Selfish. That's the word. Maybe that's why she's alone. Maybe that's why she survived. But the only way she'll tell me what she knows is if I help her first. All the good people I've learned about who've died and it's the sociopath who still gets to live.
Now try and hide from this!